Yo guys, what's going on? We're going to do a review on the SIG P229. I know you've seen it before, but new people probably hasn't seen it. And uh, while I'm getting ready, I uh, just want to show you my little dog. He's a little chihuahua. His name's Humphrey the Humper. Now check him out, man. He's pretty cool. Be back in a minute. Yeah, do your thing, man. Uh, that's Humphrey, man. He's pretty cool. I seen him in the mall, and uh, my friends say that's how I get when I see a new gun that I like. You know what? They might be right. Pretty sad. There it is. The Sig P229, and I love Sig Sours, as everybody know. They're uh, one of my favorite pistols. I can't say I have the favorite pistol because I love 1911s. You know? That's my phone. I ain't fucking answering it. Um, how come YouTube didn't fix the mail yet? Can someone answer, answer me that question? Why is my mail still not fucking working right? I wish we paid for YouTube. Then you can call and fucking yell at people. But it's free, so you can't really bitch about it. This is a this is uh, a little smaller than the P226. If you're if you're familiar with the uh, P226, the P226 maybe sticks out a little further. And the P26 P226 is a fucking beautiful gun. I used to have a real old one. It was real used, real broken in. It was a nine millimeter. <clears throat> and when I tell you, when it has a Cadillac recoil, I can't even explain it to you. Is something you have to experience, but they all all the SIGs get that Cadillac recoil. That's what I call it when they're really broken in. The more you shoot SIG sours, the better they get. The more you shoot SIG sours, the better they shoot. It's it's amazing because there's so there's so much quality in it. They're so built so tough that that they're they have to be worked in. You know what I mean? I don't know if you understand what I mean. But uh, the only thing I did was uh, replace the grips. I put hoe grips on it. Uh, whoever's making six hours now, I know it's in New Hampshire, but someone got a bright idea and said, let's, let's make the grips thinner now. So why, why, why mess up a good thing? Well, they messed up a good thing, so I, I changed the grips. As far as the smaller model SIGs, like the P239, the grips are awesome. So I didn't have to touch that one. But this one, like I would pick it up, squeeze it, and here's the seam of the grips right here. You can barely even see it with the hoax, because hoax grips are sweet. That there's a seam here, and then when you squeezed it, uh, the crack would would fluctuate back and forth. It was real shitty feel, like cheap. Felt like cheap shit, you know what I mean? So I got the hoax, and these hoax are cool. The only thing, they are soft rubber, and the only thing with soft rubber is the little nubs after a while are going to get real smooth. And they're going to have to water grips again. So, that's the only thing with soft rubber. It feels the best, it feels comfortable, but uh, the grip pattern will rub off eventually and it'll be smooth. It just wears off. That's what the polymer grips have over the rub rubber grips. Uh, let me show you why it's such a great gun. Okay, federal ammunition in there, hollow points, 40 caliber. Uh, this accepts 40 caliber or 357. Change the barrel or 357, you got a 357. Nothing in the chamber. Even cocked like that, it's a real nice looking pistol. Everything is steel. This is uh, the so the slide is stainless steel with uh, with bluing on top of stainless steel. The frame is made in Germany, and it's an aluminum frame. Um, after a while, because I know I've had six before, this part here, the grip, after a while, from putting your hand there all the time, even if you have a silicone rag and you wipe it off, don't matter. 
the bluing is going to start coming off here. It happens to all sigs. So when that happens, I'll get a wraparound grip. I don't know. I'm like, you know, once you break a sig in, you know, you're not going to part with it. It's like an old, comfortable pair of shoes. You know. Uh, let's take it apart real quick. Okay. Show you the recoil spring, recoil spring guide. It's always an, it's a it's a notch up from regular guns. You got braided steel. See how the steel's all braided together? You have one, two, it looks like three strands of steel braided together. That keeps a good memory. It'll last a long, long, long time. Longer than your average guide spring rod. Longer than your average guide spring. Uh, the guide spring rod is steel and it's just about a sixteenth thick like the one I upgraded on my Glock. It's awesome. Bad mo. Okay. Good quality. Good quality. Here's the barrel. Comes right out. And like I said, I can get a 357 barrel. They're about $239. That's a lot for a fucking barrel, but... I wouldn't get an aftermarket barrel. It has to be SIG. So, I would spend it. Uh, but I can make this a 357 because I have a Springfield 40 and I have this as a 40. Is that all a 40 I have? No, the... Uh, the P239 is a 40. I got three fucking 40s. I need a 357. So maybe I can change this into a 357. I think I might. Maybe I can sell this barrel on the internet. Um, no feeding problems. No, no, uh, no, uh, no problems at all with it. Fed nice. You know, no ejection problems. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. Okay. This belt, this belt, this gun is built to last. It really is. You can throw it, you can fucking do anything to it. It's just built for toughness. This is built for, you know, CIA agents, FBI agents, special forces, and Navy SEALs. The gun speaks for itself, you know, there it is. The best of the best use Sig Sauer, you know, and some of them use Glocks, but I'm just saying most of them use Sig Sauer, HK, you know what I mean, that they're all on the same shelf. HK is on the same shelf with a Sig. Dovetail sights, so you can take the sights out and put uh, night sights in it. Do I like the single lineup sights? Not really. It's a little hard for me to line them up. I like, I like two dots in a center. But it's okay. I might put night sights on it someday if I can find them. They're expensive, like $150. So, uh, what else can I tell you about? It has a light rail on it. You can put a tactical light rail on it. Or you can put a laser on it if you want. It has a hole in the um, recoil guide. So you can put a little laser in there. And them little fuckers are $300. Can you believe that? Can you believe they want $300? I refuse to spend $300 on that little friggin' laser thing. Uh, you know, I don't need a laser. This ain't a gun I'd put a laser on. Well, I'm not real familiar with them anyway. But, uh... It's got the, uh, the slide's very thick. It's an eighth, it's more than an eighth inch thick of steel. It, it has a little weight to it. So, the trigger pull, I think, is, uh, 10 pounds with the, and double action and then 4.4 uh, pounds in single action and then 6 pounds in automatic action okay so this gun's about between 7 and, and 800 bucks that's that's how much you're going to pay for a new one okay so there it is a SIG P229 if you're thinking about getting one do yourself a favor and get one you'll love it it'll probably be your favorite gun talk to you soon